That's the Lone Gar Handgun Shooting Range down in the San Antonio area in Texas. And that's their promotional video where they'll show all the different things you can do. It's a huge complex, all these type of things, a clay shooting, look ranges, all these different kinds of weapons that you can fire. It's so much fun. One thing that you can also do apparently is walk in and walk out with a huge gun. Machine gun is what they called it. Matter of fact, here's some surveillance video of someone doing that very thing over the weekend. So as you see in that surveillance video, a woman walked in, paid with cash, um, which is against the uh, store policy, and then walked out with that huge gun. You see it on the counter right there? She walked out with it and went to her right. Remember that when we look at this image of the front of this shooting range location uh, versus where she then walked away. So there to your left where you see that Statue of Liberty sign that we also saw she walked out. That apparently is the rental office area where she was. She walked out and went in this picture to the left, where you see that highlighted circle, that's the shooting range that she was supposed to walk towards. And um, as you could tell, there was no one there to make sure that she goes to the designated area. So she got her ass in her car and she took off. That's how this whole thing went down. And a staff member talked about this whole thing and how it happened. This is the way they described it. The staff member who also rented out the firearm didn't follow the policy in place to prevent thefts like this from occurring. Uh, Josh Felker, who's the owner, uh, president of this whole location, said that the employee accepted cash from the woman instead of a credit card. Uh, uh, staff also later realized that the ID card, which she did use, uh, is kept that was kept in exchange for that rental, didn't belong to the woman, and wrote fake information on that liability form. So, oh man, this is all freaking everyone out. By the way, it took them a couple hours before they even realized that she was gone with that gun. One more part about this, because this really stands out to me. In the employee's defense. This, uh, uh, I think the president of this company continued to say, his mother died earlier this past week. And so he was uh, at work, not because he had to be at work, but because he wanted to be at work. It's a sad situation. And just so his mind was at other, and his mind was in other places because of the, the uh, trauma that he was going through. And he said, it's not excusable, but it does happen. Uh, so they're trying to find this gun. They're looking for the person looking for it uh, that took it. But there's one other part about this that really stood out to me because I went through their website, Dara. And this is one thing I saw over and over and over again from their staff photos to even just this graphic here. Apparently the phrase, uh, come and take it, they're taken quite literally down at Lone Star Handgun because that lady walked in and she just took it. Uh, by the way, what that gun is, uh, Felker also pointed out, she rented an MP5 submachine gun. It's a powerful nine millimeter gun capable of firing 900 rounds per minute. After customers rent out these firearms, they're supposed to go to the range next, as I pointed out. But instead, she went the other way and took off. Let's look at a picture of that gun, in case you guys aren't the gun nuts that, I, uh, that I'm probably not talking to. This is the gun that could cause such mass murders, Dara. Uh, but she took off, ran off with it. And even uh, as of now, they haven't recovered that gun. We will get to how they did actually catch up with the suspect. What are your thoughts here? This is madness, man. Well, okay. First of all, and I don't think you actually showed the part in the video where I don't know if it was the, the owner of the shop or what had said, they tried to justify, they tried to justify, well, at least the gun wasn't loaded. Like, <laughs> like as if you can't get ammo, like that was, it, it, it's pretty comical. Even even here saying, who who put out that statement, by the way, of the employee's mother passing? Oh, I think it was the, I think it was the, uh, the, uh, the owner or president of it, uh, Josh like Felker. The employee himself, right? No, not himself, but he was saying he was, you know, going through it. So. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna trust the the store owner for on that, as if he didn't actually make his employee probably come in because because of the capitalistic society that we that we live in. Um, I don't understand why they took so long to figure out who she was. Considering, wait, did you not want me to give away whose ID it was? No, no, totally. Oh. I go for it. Because it was her, it was her dead sister's ID that who had passed away in a fire, I believe. Like. Yep. 
why was that even difficult to track her down? The fact that it took even 24 hours to find her, I feel like is way too long when a gun is when a gun has gone missing, a machine gun, no less. Uh, this I think was two three. to three days even it took for them to get over 24 hours, two to two days minimum at least took them to catch up with them, which it was based off of that ID. They looked up some social media accounts and realized that the woman who was on the ID wasn't her because she has since uh, passed away. Uh, but she did the use her sister's her social media, sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. The police looked up her social media? Yeah, they were actually looking into it because uh, once this gun shop or this gun range was asking for help from authorities, they had to give them all the information they could to find her. And by the way, that woman that you're seeing now is the mugshot from the woman who did uh, pull this off. Uh, her name is Amber Herring and she's only 25 years old. They're still looking for a motive behind this. I'm not sure how much talking she's done. But the other thing that they're still looking for as of right now, at least some things I've read, so correct me if I'm wrong, uh, that gun is still missing. Good yeah. job. Uh, by the way, in case it wasn't easy enough for you to purchase a gun, if you need to just walk up, give these guys 35, 40 bucks and say, I'm gonna rent it for an hour and walk the hell away. Yeah. That's uh, that's the way people respond and act when they're on these machines of death, when they think it's just normalcy. That's how normal it's become. Would you Texas hand hand grenades to well. someone? I'm sorry? Texas, Texas is doing really well. I mean, yeah. all the positive stories coming out of Texas lately, just like back to back. It's they're doing great for America. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them. And then as children die and other innocent folks die when they go out on a normal afternoon, uh, the response is, let's worry about uh, something completely different so that maybe you guys will understand what it is that we're covering up. That's the way this has been uh, going about for some time.